Yeah. <laughs> I can't be too loud. Sorry, y'all. And I got you on my phone. Uh, I've only recorded a couple times on my phone, but if it looks all right and sounds all right, drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, it's pretty handy, actually. Um, I'm out here with uh, with old Gerald, and we're doing turkey scouting this morning, and we've been walking through. So, long story short, we are in a public wooded area um, and scouting public turkeys. Uh, tomorrow is opening day for shotgun for adults, and Gerald wants to get on a 410 turkey. So, today, I thought I would pop open the video uh, because there's been a ton of you that have recommended me to do another morel mushroom hunt now guys last year I did one and I only found probably I don't know maybe 10 of them total and it was on private land today we're on public land so uh, anybody can can get on public and you can go morel mushroom hunting we are up against the lake we're probably I'm guessing a quarter mile away from the lake this is just a wooded area, nothing special, big trees. I'll show you the ground, but it's a good area. We came across, we were just walking. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm in a really good area. I can see three of them right here. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys along just to show you that you can go anywhere and find morels. This is the time to do it. Y'all need to get out there and try it. Public land, little morel. If you guys like this video, uh, if you guys morel mushroom hunt, drop a comment down below, let me know. I think we're gonna find a bunch of them today. I really think that we're gonna find quite a few. This is uh, what I've gathered already, check it out. I got four of them already, and in front of me there's three giant ones, so. Enough blabbing, let's, uh, let's get to finding some mushrooms here. Sorry, I keep looking over here, but the camera's actually right there, oh, hello. But thank you all for being here. Before we get started, please, please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't hit that little notification bell on there, you might you might as well. It'll tell you when I upload. Here we go. Check it out. This is right where I was standing vlogging with you guys. There's one. I've been, uh, I didn't bring my knife with me. I didn't think that we were gonna find them. So I've just been breaking them off with my fingers, trying to pinch them off real good. But check it out right there. There is one more. We'll try to pinch him off. I don't want to pluck him out of the ground. You want to uh, basically slice them or break them off and leave the stems there like that. That way they'll keep growing. That wasn't the best cut by no means, but look, here's another one a little under a little branch. These are good sized, real good sized. There we go. Check out that good looking dude. They're ready to be picked. Oh boy, this is still in the same area. Look at that guy. Man, they're easy to spot. The last two nights, it has got below freezing. Check out that. That's a good size one right there. Good looking morels. It's been really cold, uh, but during the daytime, they must be getting warm enough to still grow. I mean, two nights ago, all my dog bowls literally froze over, and uh, yeah, it got cold. I'm surprised that these morels are still are still growing. Well, let's go, uh, let's go find Gerald and see if he's found anything. While I'm still looking, old Gerald. Sounds like he's found a ton of them. We're gonna come out of here with a bunch. I'm gonna go home, we're gonna cook these bad boys up. You guys know it. Uh, last year I cooked them up and they were delicious. Absolutely, a uh, really, really good mushroom. Um, if I can give you guys one tip, um, they're kind of hard to spot at first. Uh, the big ones are pretty easy to spot, but uh, they're kind of hard to spot at first. Once you see one and then another one, your eyes kind of get used to spotting them. It's kind of like shed hunting, you know, for deer antlers. Once you see one, the rest of them become really easy to spot. And it's weird, you know, how these uh, morels grow is. What's that? What? Looks like a stake to a decoy maybe or something, maybe a tent. Hmm. But uh, it's weird how these morels, they'll grow in like little, little colonies. Like there'll be a group here and then you won't see any and then there'll be a group here. Where you find one, there's gonna be more. So don't just find the one, really scour the area when you find one because there should be more than one in every area. If that makes any sense. This one was really hard to spot. 
it's a lot smaller. They're always underneath a branch or something. There we go. Ooh, hear that crow? There's Gerald. He's got a hoodie pocket full. You came across a good little area, huh? Yeah. Did you? Oh, I can see your hoodie's just a sagging bag and berries. Wow. Who found another one? Couple of them. Oh, here's a big one. Is it? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. That's a ripe big old dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a whole hoodie full. <laughs> We're gonna have a feast, dude. Yeah, forget turkeys. Yeah, forget turkeys. We'll just public land uh, morel hunt. Here's what uh, I said. I thought it was a tent steak. That's a turkey decoy steak? That's a decoy steak? steak, yeah. That's funny. I found it over there by that fence line. That's not your dad's no. or yours, is it? No. No? That's the old. It might be from years ago. Yeah. <laughs> what did we find here? Let me check this out. Probably an old turkey load. <sighs> Well, I have come to find, um, it's one thing about walking around on public land. You never know what you're going to find. It's like that turkey steak decoy. It's still good to go. We're going to reuse that bad boy. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking here and you guys are there. I'm bad at that. I haven't used the phone very often to do stuff like this. Uh, so if you guys are enjoying the footage, it's kind of nice not having to tote around the big old camera. If you guys are enjoying it, smash that thumbs up button. And uh, if you guys have any morel mushroom recipes, um, go ahead right now. Drop your comment down below. Let us all know, especially if it's just a good one. Let us know because even after this video goes up, we're still going to be doing some more morel hunting and cooking because these bad boys are so good. Oh, Gerald. Gerald found, oh, a monster, dude. Wow. Look at that beauty. Perfect on a steak. Yeah. There we go. Check out that beauty. Yeah, like Gerald said, that'll go perfect on a steak. Mm -hmm. Or a turkey. Forget or a turkey. Yeah. You better get your turkey tomorrow. He's like, oh, find another one? Yep. Oh, yeah, little guy. Finally. Look at that guy. He's a long one there. Break him off. Nice. There we go. Leave the stem. A good sized one there, and then look, we got one right here. Boom! Oh, I, darn it, didn't mean to pull the stem on that guy. And then look right here, two more hiding. That's why I'm saying, um, a yep, it's clusters. There's four right there in that little bitty cluster, and that was a little two by two, two foot by two foot area, you know. So when you find one, don't just get the one and move keep looking so we're actually at the uh property line where public meets private on the north side here uh so we just walked through here the same exact trail look at that dude yeah there's more the same exact trail that i walked this way in that i'm coming back through i'm i walked right past them check it out so i just found those four right here look on the other side of the trail giant one right here good looking one and then right beside it, right there, another one. There we are, two more nice ones. I'm starting to learn. Before I leave this area, you just got to scan and look. Take a good gander. Because, like I'm saying, if any of you, which I know a lot of you out there, are probably a lot smarter than I am. I am wanting, basically, I'm asking for an answer. If one of you guys have it, why do they grow? What makes it? Is it the soil? Is it animal droppings? Is it a certain type of plant or fertilizer? I don't know that uh, the reason why they grow in clusters like this. You know what I mean? Ha <sighs> ha, finally. I've been looking for, I don't know, a while. There's a good one. We got three of them right here. Good one. Right here, that's a good one, and then this guy, right there, there we go. As usual, those other three or four were just right there, look, there's a big tree. I don't know if that has something to do with it or not, but here's this one right here, all the way down in here. Check him out. Yeah, count your pile there. I'm going to line my, my keel up for the day here. 
hold on one minute well here we go 22 is my kill pile 21 22 what was it one two three four five six seven 22 you got me got me by 10 he got 32 left a bunch too dude we left a lot oh you left a lot because they weren't big well there are a lot of little ones yeah i know these Come ones here that was little but the color of them still looks like you need to pick them will they get bigger if you leave them i don't really know much about morel i don't either, either dude when, when i find them they're dude, there hold on whoa y'all know gerald he's gonna be the main guide of the lodge dude show him show him the cut oh it's awful show oh <laughs> This is what uh, quarantine will do to you. <laughs> Too much Call of Duty. Too much Call of Duty. <laughs> Too much beanbag time. Beanbag time, yeah. Frederico said, if you've been a naughty boy in here, he's been missing dad. Look at him. He's been chewing up trash. Uh-huh. What have you been doing in here, boy, huh? What are you doing? Are you ready to eat? Yeah. Well, we just got back. Got back home. It is the evening. But we found 54 morel mushrooms total and Gerald gave them all to me. I got them inside soaking and I am prepping today's dinner. Let's go inside and check it out. This is what we got going on for the mushroom situation. I'm heating up a little pan with cooking oil and butter. And then I'm gonna throw in a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of onion powder on the mushrooms. And here they are, I just sliced them. And one little tip, one pro tip is to slice the amount that you're going to want and then soak them. I've been soaking them to get all the dirt off, which they're all pretty clean, but the insides of them need to be cut and soaked as well. There was some of them had some bugs in them, some of them, which were only ants. Uh, some of them just have dirt up the chute of them. So clean them off really well. Let them soak in some cold water for some time. Well, here we go. We're going to throw some mushrooms in here. First time ever cooking them this way. Hopefully I have enough oil. Hopefully I have enough butter. My wife just asked me why I put butter and oil in the same pan. Because they're essentially the same thing. Butter's got a good flavor, right? <laughs> My plan essentially, I, I've tried to talk the whole family into eating them, but no one else really likes eating dad's uh, wild anything. That's what we got going on. We got the grill going. Throw some frozen boogers on there. Because daddy's having a mushroom booger. That's what I'm having. Let them cook. Be done shortly. Well, here we are. The morels are a cooking. Let me tell you what. These morels have a distinct smell when they're cooking. Whoop, a little too close. They smell amazing. That's going to be good on top of that booger. I'll tell you right now. Well, here we go. I just flipped the old hamburgers. And here is our morels. They're cooked. I'm going to throw them right on top of my hamburger like so bam they're almost all the way cooked but pretty much i would say they're actually completely cooked to be honest with you so that tells us one thing we gotta try them oh my oh that is a lot of flavor in there wow maybe a little much garlic powder but the butter does a lot just by itself, I can tell you that. Easy little recipe. Cut your morels in half, clean them, and then uh, a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, maybe a little bit of garlic salt. I don't think you really need it, but the onion powder is pretty good. Again, like I said uh, earlier, please, if you guys have a much better recipe than me, these are mushroom hamburgers. If you guys have a better recipe just for morels only, drop a comment down below and let us all know. Well, burgers are pretty much done here. The three are done. Mine's still going. Just uh, for a topper, I'm going to throw down a piece of cheese on top. No, I don't have any Swiss cheese. Just some American. It'll do. Well, here's our finished product. Check out that cheese coated mushroom burger. <laughs> Does that look good, Bubba? It does. You want to bite? Okay. Well, every burger needs a little bit of ketchup. There she is. See the mushrooms in there? Mm-hmm. All that mushroom goodness in there? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's a real good flavor. Now, little tip, um, now that I've done it once, 
now that I've done it once, yeah, those mushrooms are pretty much spot on cooked. I liked them almost crisp. Sorry. <clears throat> I liked them almost crispy, but not too crispy to where they crunch, but pretty crispy. That there is amazing, y'all. Uh, if you guys have not tried morel mushroom hamburgers on the grill, woo, or just morel mushrooms in general, today we found them on public land. I was not expecting to. Me and Gerald went back there. I didn't even take my camera this morning because we we're originally going just to scout public land turkeys. We started looking down. Mushrooms started popping up. Here we are now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, it was a lot of fun making it. I didn't expect to make a video today. But I want to thank you guys for being here. Get out there. Search for them morels right now. Uh, there's only a small window when morels are actually growing and producing. So get out there and find them while the time is right. It's only going to be here for about a month. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell on there because it'll notify you when your boy uploads. And if you guys want to help support the channel, you know that YouTube doesn't like a lot of these videos. This one not bad because we didn't kill anything today. But on the hunting videos, they get smacked all the time. If you guys want to help me out, go down in the description below. Hit the Ducks Waterfowl link. There is something over there for everybody. And like I said, it goes directly to helping me bring you more of these videos, y'all. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it 